Good morning, everybody. I hope you are staying high and dry. I hope we have a driveway left. We had quite the rain coming down really hard for a while. Here we are today talking about lime essential oil. And my bottle looks like this because when I got lime, Jesse said, oh, I have to have some of that to take back to school. So we took my bottle and split it up. But smells like lime. This is a 15 milliliter bottle and it wholesales for $13. Retails for $17.33, so again, another very affordable, economically priced oil. It's cold pressed from the lemon, from lime peels, and it is citrus orontifolia, which, by the way, is the same species as key lime. I didn't realize that. I love key lime pie. I don't eat it very much, but I love it. There's actually a recipe on doTERRA's website for making key lime yogurt parfait, so I might have to try that. It sounds pretty good. So this is a citrus oil, obviously. It's chemically composed mainly of monoterpenes with D-limonene being the main constituent, alpha and beta pinenes as well. It's very, very similar chemically to lemon. And so you can use this in place of lemon, which I would encourage some of you to do. If you're tired of lemon or you don't maybe like lemon that much, try lime and see if it, you like it better. It's got a, you know, a different taste, a different aroma. It's very tart, very refreshing and revitalizing. So you might find that you like it better. I know Stephanie puts lime and a couple of the other um, citrus oils in her water when she's sipping it and she calls it um, Skittles water. So maybe she can post what her recipe is for her Skittles water. Um, so since it's very similar to lemon, hello Dale, yes it is a rainy day in Georgia. I'm so glad I have a good roof that's not leaking. Um, it's very similar to lemon, so you use it for the same basic uh, uses and benefits. It's a great cleanser. You can use it internally and it's going to do all the things that lemon does does for you. It's going to detox your system. It's going to help your metabolism, support your metabolism. It's going to help decrease your appetite a little bit. It's going to help with cleansing um, the liver. I got my results back on my liver enzymes and using my lemon oil faithfully, I have reduced my liver enzyme levels. So I was very happy about that. So um, it's very good at cleansing things externally. It's good for degreasing, for getting those gunky sticker residue things off. Um, says it will take out gum residue also. I haven't actually tried that, but I'm going to remember that for when I need to get some gum off of something. And there was actually a, uh, a recipe that I found on doTERRA for making jewelry cleaner out of this. Just so table salt, baking soda, lime essential oil, a little bit of water, and put your jewelry in the bowl and let it soak, and then scrub it, and it'll be sparkling. It's great to add to your shampoo. It's great to add to your facial cleanser because it actually helps lift the dead skin cells off and revitalizes and refreshes your facial skin. And since it's a citrus oil, it's very uplifting and stimulating and refreshing. Since it is a citrus oil, you do have to pay attention to when you use it topically because of photosensitivity outside. Uh, you want to avoid direct contact with the sun for 12 hours after you've put it on, and that's the case with any of the citrus oils. 
Okay, and let me switch to my other book because it had some good uses for it. Um, gargle with a drop of lime for a sore throat. It's good for congestion of the respiratory system, the lymph system, and the liver. So you can take it internally or apply topically to the area of concern. If you do apply topically, remember to dilute at least one to one, one drop to one drop with a carrier oil. It will just help it bind to your skin better and not cause the, the most delicate properties of the essential oil to evaporate off your skin. It's good for your urinary and digestive tracts, drinking a few drops in a glass of water. It's good for memory and clarity, using in the inhaler or the diffuser. So if you haven't picked up on it, this is one that you can use internally, topically, and aromatically. It's good for exhaustion and depression. You can apply it to the ears, to the back side of your ears, or the back of your neck or diffuse it to energize and uplift you. And it will actually move you from feeling faint-hearted to feeling enlightened emotionally, not, not enlightened, enlivened emotionally. Might be a good one to diffuse today because it's kind of a bleary, dreary, rainy day, but thank you, Lord, for the rain. We need it. Um, it's good for herpes and cold sores. Take it internally in a capsule or apply it topically to outbreaks. It's good for chicken pox as well. Taking it internally and applying diluted topically to the pox. It's a good combatant for head lice. You take 20 drops of lime oil, 15 drops of melaleuca oil, and put it in your bottle of shampoo and shampoo with that and it will take care of your head lice. It's good for pain and inflammation, a massage topically over the area of discomfort, and you can take it internally in a capsule because when you increase your antioxidants, you're decreasing your inflammation, and if you decrease your inflammation, you're decreasing your pain level. So, Hope that helps you, gives you some ideas of using lime. Oh, also cooking, duh. That's the way we use it mostly. You can make killer guacamole with lime essential oil. So, and there's like three pages of recipes on doTERRA.com. If you just type in lime, you'll get three pages of things. So go knock yourself out looking for yummy food to make. Bye. Have a good day.